It's blink and you'll miss it stuff. The exterior design has been tweaked with the introduction of a new grille design and new headlamp units, while the fog lamps have also been replaced. Cabin updates are even more restricted, limited only to a new steering wheel, which Sangyong claims is easier to use thanks to a rethink of how the multi-function buttons are laid out. Everywhere else is as before. That means that the Corando is still powered by a 2.2-liter, 176bhp 4-cylinder diesel engine mated to a 6-speed manual gearbox as standard, with 4-wheel drive and an automatic gearbox reserved for range topping models. When the new car arrives before the end of the decade it's likely to benefit from fresh, downsized diesel engines, but for now buyers must make do with the rattly 2.2-liter unit, which continues to set a low bar for refinement and fuel economy. Made it to the notchy gearshift, vague steering and an unaccomplished low-speed ride, it means the current Corando is far from pleasant to drive. It is punchy, though. With 176 bhp on tap, Dipping the throttle can coax at a respectable turn of pace, while the 400 newton meters of torque means that pound for pound the Corando still makes sense as a cheap tow car. In fact, Sangyong rates its towing capacity at an impressive 2 tons, with a 750 kg maximum for unbraked loads. For comparison, a new Renault Colios 4x4 is limited to 1650 kg for brake trailers despite costing almost 10,000 pounds more to buy.